I had a vision, and this, this vision meant to me that if only I could get funds, I would help these children. It's been quite a journey for us to really jump off a cliff and say yes to her to help create this facility when we did, really didn't know how we were going to raise all, all this money. The way Seeds of Light works is that we support people we call champions. The person who has a vision, somebody who has leadership skills, and a lot of heart and courage. There's a champion who came to us. My name is Tadi Tanya Lomu. I want to share with you the vision that I have. I happen to be in a community where there's high rate of diseases. These diseases has led to many children left without parents. Meeting these kids is an extraordinary thing because they really are suffering tremendously. Some of them do not even have food. When they come to school, they come without food. They leave school without food. And presently, even in winter, we find that the children do not even have anything to warm their bodies. Some of them do not even have a shelter. They don't know where to, to put up during the night. The joy that these kids express when they are given anything, for example, food or uh, a warm hat or some clothing um, or just a loving smile and some care is extraordinary. Talita's idea was to have a place for the kids to come after school and get food and also to have some adults there to nurture them and help them with their homework and just give them some loving. Talita has started a nonprofit. This powerful group of people in Acorn Hook are ready to start building. I have developed a, a, a place, a site, where we can prepare food for these children and also prepare an area where they can have their meals. So the building is taking place in phases. Phase one will be renovating a building that's actually currently on the property already. We are really focusing on just providing some kind of building where the kids can come and have a safe space. This is just a short-term objective. But the long-term objective is an accommodation for those who, are, who do not have home and make home for those children. In phases two and three, uh, which we'll be updating everybody on as they happen, uh, we'll be building out the center and especially creating the accommodation. It's going to be a sustainable structure. We're planning on having rainwater collection from the roof and solar panels. There'll be fruit trees, uh, playgrounds, a vegetable garden. So lots of magic, lots of miracles behind this project. We have received already lots of donated building supplies. A sister organization of ours called Spring of Hope uh, donated the well. They drilled the well and they hit a gusher. It's more water than we've ever hit in that area. This is a project that we're very excited about. These are such special kids. When you meet them, you see the the love and the light coming through their eyes and the joy in their smile and in their singing. We are really helping them. Here am I, use me to help the people to be able to, to fend for themselves so that we have a very good generation in future in our country. Thank you very much.